Hi, it's Amber here from Garden Tara. This is a reading, a podcast from the written blog called Leaf Miners and How to Manage Them, published on the 4th of August 2018. Leaf Miners and How to Manage Them. A leaf miner is the larvae, the baby, of the adult moth who lays eggs underneath young leaves. When they hatch, the larvae burrow into the leaf and start feeding between the lower and upper leaf surfaces. Their feeding habits make trailing marks on the leaves and causes leaves to curl inward and warp. There are many different types of leaf miners and they all tend to be host specific. For example, there's the introduced Asian citrus leaf miner, the lantana leaf miner, the azalea leaf miner, calistamin leaf miner, cinerea leaf miner and so on. Generally, the life cycle of leaf miners is between two and four weeks, but that can vary with the species. Young plants can be affected by leaf miners more so than older plants. This is largely due to the amount of leaves the plant has. Most experts agree that plants generally don't die from leaf miners. Preventing leaf miners. Prevention largely depends upon the type of plant and the associated leaf miner. Let's take the citrus leaf miner as an example. If we fertilise our citrus plants in summer, we'd expect to get some new growth. That new growth will be attractive to leaf miners. If we use a high nitrogen fertiliser, it'll be much more attractive to leaf miners. A synthetic high nitrogen fertiliser will be even more attractive. Therefore, we should fertilise our citrus in late winter to early spring. This is because the citrus leaf miner does most of her damage in autumn and is relatively low in numbers in winter to spring. Managing leaf miners on our plants. There are a number of ways to manage leaf miners once they are on our plants. The number one way to reduce leaf miner numbers is by encouraging their natural predators. One key predator of leaf miners are parasitic wasps. There are a number of species of native and introduced wasps that prey on leaf miners. Lacewings are also good leaf miner predators. We attract predators to our gardens by having a healthy, pesticide-free garden and providing predators with food. So a few leaf miners on a couple of our plants will help feed the predators we need in our gardens. Another way is to squish the leaf miner whilst it is in the leaf. If we have good eyes and we can see the leaf miner in the leaf, we can simply squash them. If we put the leaf up to the light, we are better able to see them. Another remedy is to prune off the individual leaves that are affected. We should also bag the leaf prunings to prevent them from hatching and flying away and back into our plants. If we take care, we can spray or paint some horticultural oil underneath the new leaves. Moths don't tend to like laying eggs on oily surfaces. However, horticultural oil will kill any other insect that gets sprayed or painted. This includes our predatory insects such as predatory mites, spiders, lady beetles, wasps, lacewings. It works by suffocation. There are other insecticides we can use. They are however harmful and I wouldn't advocate using anything other than what I've described here. Leaf miners cause ugliness more than they cause death and disease.